What's up guys, welcome to the weekly technical session for Sunday, May 5th, 2019. And we're currently looking at the economic calendar for this upcoming week. And for Sunday we have a Japanese yen bank holiday. And for British Pound we have a bank holiday on Monday, so tomorrow. And we have dollar index 10 a.m., so pretty much London close. And Canadian dollar around 1.45 p.m. we've got a speaker. Then later in the day we've got some Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar news going into London session. And let's see what else do we have. Australian dollar we've got a RBA rate statement and cash rate for 12.30 a.m. And later in the day we've got New Zealand dollar. So we've got a lot of Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar news going into the beginning of the week. We've got a bank holiday for Euro on Wednesday. Pretty light day in terms of uh, news releases here. And then Thursday, we've got a good bit of news for dollar index and Canadian dollar. And same for Friday. We've got a lot of British pound news and dollar CAD stuff. So likely the volatility we'll see come in to play probably Thursday and Friday. But that doesn't mean there won't be setups for us Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, just keep an eye on your charts for Thursday and Friday. Again, now we have FOMC and NFP behind us, so there will be much higher probability, much more high probability setups within the markets. And uh, that's one of the reasons I only traded Monday and Tuesday last week, because we had a lot of high impact news events. So with that being said, let's go ahead. We'll jump into the charts and we'll kind of cover what I'll be looking for this week. All right, so looking at dollar index, you guys can see uh, we did have this breakout here above this triple top where all the daily liquidity was resting. And then we came back down into this ICT bullish order block here. Had a little bit of a pop up, but we failed to make another higher high. So what I'm interested to see going into the beginning of the week is, are they gonna turn around and come back above this high here? Or are they gonna break below this low? So if they break below this low, to me, they may want to start going for the liquidity below 96.75, right? And we could start seeing dollar index trade lower if that's the case. And this could be like a like a false run higher type thing. So we'll see what we necessarily get. Um, I'm still technically bullish until we get below this low. Then uh, at that point, I'm going to be a little bit more on guard, I guess you could say, whether or not we're going to trade lower or higher. But if you look at the price action so far, if this is indeed a like a longer term reversal, then the markets come up, made a high, traded all the way back down, failed to go lower, had a nice little response up, but then we failed to go higher. So this could be kind of the beginning formations of a longer term reversal right here. So that's what I'm kind of curious to see whether or not that unfolds or not. Um, but Generally speaking, I'm still bullish dollar index and as long as we're above this high here on May 1st. So that, I mean that low, which the low comes in at 97.15. So as long as we, we could even come down, sweep the low and then start trading higher, but it's really gonna be dependent on whether or not they can close below here. So you can see we've got a big long wick. If we come and close with a big bearish candle and we just continue from Friday's price action, at that point, we'll probably want to see lower prices on dollar index before we actually head higher. So this could be a longer term high. And um, one of the things that you guys have to consider is we are now back within the consolidation. So we broke out above it, came back lower a bit, retested some support, started the trade out of it again, and then we rejected and came back within it. So that definitely um, it is not the most ideal thing for me. I was definitely looking for continuation on the upside, but just based on the price action so far, it may be a little bit more prolonged if we are going to get continuation on the upside, or this thing may just start aggressively trading lower because we've got a lot of liquidity resting below the market as well. Now that we've taken out what's above here, daily equal lows and all this stuff back, you know, in uh, 2018 between June and uh, July and August. So that was, you know, we were mentioning this for a long time ago but there's a lot of liquidity built up below there if we do indeed start selling off so dollar index I'm Monday will probably be a day where you know we could see that lower price action initially or we may just start aggressively trading higher right out the gate but for me I'll more than likely be waiting to see whether or not they're going to close below here 
or if we can get some sort of a turnaround and then you know come back above the 98s here that's kind of what I'm waiting on for dollar index specifically all right and for euro dollar similar scenario so we came initially we came lower we broke below these equal lows and then we came all the way back up cleared out the liquidity above these equal highs here traded right back into this down candle which is an ICT breaker bearish breaker whoops and then we've seen some more selling from there but on Friday for non-farm payroll the market basically was unable to make a lower low so we'll see whether or not we can start trading higher from here and really what's going to be kind of the differentiating factor for me is what happens with May 1st high so just like we're looking for May 1st low on dollar index we're looking at May 1st high for euro dollar so if we get back above that then we could definitely see higher prices trade above these equal highs here still got some liquidity resting above here and then ultimately start taking out the highs above us because you guys can see we've got some liquidity built up back here and then we've got this triple top or double top I guess you could say here here and uh, we've just got some room to go on the upside if they do turn this thing around um, but again right now and as until we can break above May 1st the high that was formed on May 1st I'm still bearish this so just like I'm, I'm bullish dollar index I'm still bearish on foreign currency up until we get some sort of a shift in direction which would is highly dependent for me on that that May 1st which is the beginning of the month and um, essentially the weekly high here and the weekly low on dollar index so we'll see what we get from that let me actually double check is that the yeah this is the weekly low on dollar index as well we could even drop into an hourly and you could see that so we came down here and this was the the open was here traded lower formed the low of the week and then we traded up again so similar thing for euro dollar you can see we traded up initially since the weekly open formed a high and then aggressively sold off so very curious to see whether or not they're going to come back above May 1st high so still bearish up until that point but notice how we're hanging around the big figure level as well we're around 1.12 big figure so this could be a turning point within the market for example this down here could be a longer term low and then this could be a higher low point and then we could see the market start aggressively trading higher so we could see the early signs of a reversal here on euro dollar as well just like we've seen on dollar index all right now British pound this thing has been on the move from our daily bullish order block that we mentioned here so it came down into the 29 big figure level had a nice reaction to the upside pretty bullish week on cable came back down retested the 1.30 big figure which we've been watching for a while now look how we got below it retested it sold off into the order block came all the way back up got above it came down retested it and expanded higher from there so cleared out some liquidity above here next target of liquidity is going to be 32 big figure and then if we can get above that we have a good bit of liquidity resting above the 1.33 big figure so in my eyes we still got some room to go on the upside for British pound and based on the movement we've seen so far to me it looks like we're gonna see a, a continuation to the upside on this which is giving me the kinda underlying scenario that we may start seeing weakness on dollar index as well because we're getting so much strength in British pound and if you just map this out from the daily bullish order block we've seen almost 300 pips to the upside on British pound so this NF this was on NFP otherwise we definitely could have went long here off of the 1.30 big figure retest and we can go down to an hourly and you can see that clearly so the markets hanging above 1.30 big figure consolidate consolidate through Thursday come right down Friday hit that level and you could have basically been a buyer at 1.30 big figure we come down form a low of 2990 so basically 10 pips worth of drawdown and then you get roughly 200 pips on the upside so again this was non-farm payroll so no one should have been trading this regardless but the price action we've seen off of it is very beneficial going forward because what we may see for this week is we could trade down back into this level here at 1.3040 or even this level here at 1.3080 find some support and then we could start expanding higher again and if we come down to 1.3080 and then the next level of liquidity will be at 1.3180 that's already 100 pips in itself 
So with the volatility that we're getting in cable, this is going to be some nice setups going forward in my opinion. So keep a lookout for this and definitely study the price action we've seen off of this daily bullish order block because it has been very nice, especially noticing that you don't have to get the specific low, but you can wait for the market to prove that it wants to go higher, wait for it to retest the logical level, which it does here, and then the market expands higher. All right, let's move to Euro GBP. We'll briefly cover this one. So Euro GBP pretty much expand into the downside. We've been consolidating for a while and now we're getting pretty decent bearish candles to the downside, likely running the liquidity below 84.70 here, only 20 pips below us. And longer term, we've got the lows down here. So if we see continued selling on this, we're gonna see a lot more strength in British pound. And we could see a consolidation for a bit on Euro dollar. So we'll see how that plays out, but Looking at Euro GBP is definitely pointing to further strength and continuation to the upside on British pound. And that's one of the reasons I'm also, you know, kind of waiting to see what happens with dollar index, because if dollar index starts selling off and this thing's continuing lower, we're going to see explosive price action to the upside on British pound. All right. Now, lastly, we'll cover dollar CAD. And this one's a bit disappointing to me. So while the price action is beautiful and very clear, I really wanted to see them come back up into the 1.35s, really 35.60. We got up into 35.20, but uh, I was really looking for 35.60. So the market sold off, came back down into a daily bullish order block here, had a nice little pop up, but we failed to break above 35.20 and we started selling off again. So again, just like dollar index, I'm very curious to see what happens with this May 1st right because we have the May 1st low here which was the one, the candle that traded into the ICT bullish order block and trust me when I say that's not a coincidence the start of a new month price is basically hovering right at a daily order block and then we get a reaction off of there it's what they think about what they're trying to build the idea of they're trying to build the idea of that it's going to be a bullish month right and it could very well be a bullish month i'm i'm just saying like what what the technicals are saying so the market trades down into it first day of the month daily bullish order block we get a reaction there if they are going to take this thing lower this could be just manipulation first two days of the month manipulated higher when they're really going to take this thing lower and this this could be a false breakout above this high here so if we do start trading lower longer term we've got some liquidity below here at the 1.33s roughly about 120 pips from where we're at now and then down here into the like really 1.32s so we could definitely see some downside expansion on dollar cad if this is in fact just like everything else that we've been looking at today if this is in fact the early signs of a long-term reversal and this is for example like the high of even the high of 2019 we could easily start seeing massive rejection from here so that's going to be highly dependent on what they do once they get below may 1st low or high depending on the market that you're looking at but for me it's dollar cad the low here at 1.3377 so if they get a daily candle closing below that then we could see them maybe pop back up retest the the open here or even the low and then start aggressively selling off into the 32s so that's kind of what I'm looking at going forward. Um, and of course, those of you in the premium group, I'll update you guys on Wednesday as to, you know, kind of what the markets have done since the beginning of the week. But right now, you know, essentially because we've kind of moved back into these consolidations, um, there's no like specific direction that I'm like highly dependent on right now. So I, I see a little bit of both. And, um, that's kind of what I'm waiting to play out, you know, as the week opens, like, what do we, what do we initially start doing? Do we aggressively start selling off on dollar index or do we aggressively trade higher and show no signs of weakness? You know, it, it could go kind of both ways. Um, so that's what I'm really waiting to confirm. And once we get that, um, a little bit more refined then finding the actual setups for the week will be very easy in my opinion. So, that's kind of what I'm looking at overall. If you guys have any questions, just feel free to drop a comment below this video. But essentially, just in summary, before we wrap up, still bullish on dollar index, still bearish on foreign currency up until the point that we close or break above or below the, the candle May 1st. So if we break above May 1st high or May 1st low, depending on what the market is that you're looking at, that's going to really determine what I'm doing, like what my next steps are and what I'm going to be doing from there. Because that's kind of the invalidation point for me and where we could see
kind of a turnaround in the markets. So like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below this video, but I'm going to end it here and I will talk with you guys in the premium group on Wednesday and those of you on YouTube, I will talk with you next Sunday and next week's technical.